Okay, here we go. This is question number 106 on page 449. Now, in this particular problem, you have to have a balanced equation. And I'm going to start out with that. C3H8 is propane, and it's going to react with oxygen, and it's going to give you CO2 and water. I think they say water vapor, don't they? No, they don't. Water vapor, they said that in 105, but they didn't tell you that in 106. But whenever you have a carbon-hydrogen compound like propane, methane, ethane, any of those guys, they're always going to react with oxygen to form CO2 and water. Now, to get this guy balanced, we're going to have to have, uh, let's see, hydrogens here is 8, so we're going to need a 4 here, and that gives me an even number of oxygens. And uh, once I have my even numbers of oxygens, I can have uh, 6 plus 4 is 10, and now I have a balanced equation. Yeah, it's 10. Because we have 6 oxygens here and 4 here. You see why? Oh, it's 5. You're right. Yeah, it's 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's good. I love to be corrected. Now, let's look at what's given and what's defined. Okay? So, we've got volume is equal to... Do you need to go to the back? 2.33 liters. And our temperature is equal to... 24 degrees centigrade, and what do we have to do to get that so it will work in the formula? Add yeah, add 273, and that gets us into Kelvins, which gives us 79297, and that's going to be our Kelvins. And then the last thing they give us is KPAs. So we have KPAs is going to be a pressure unit, and we have 67.67 point, there we go, 67.2 kPa's. We're going to put that over 1, and there's 101 kPa's is 1 atmosphere, and that's going to get us into atmospheres. And so when we do our division out here, let's get this here. When we do the division, it's going to be 67.2, oops, 67.2 divided by 101. And we get a total of 0 0.665, and that's going to be our atmospheres. Yes? Because uh, there's one atmosphere is equal to 101 kPa's. It's also equal to 100,003 something in the uh, PA's. But this is KPAs, okay, because I'm, I'm going off what they had here. All right, so now we can go ahead and solve for N. But guess what N is? They told us that we have propane gas. So this is the N of the propane, which is C3H8. Now the find... The find is to get moles of... What? CO2. That's why we need this. Because we're going to get a mole ratio here between the propane and the carbon dioxide, and that's going to be how we get from these moles to moles of carbon dioxide. But we've got to run PVNRT first, and this is our question mark. So we got pressure at 0 0.665 atmospheres. We got volume at 2.33 liters. We go to moles, which we don't know. We have uh, the, the constant, 0 0.0821. And then we need the temperature at 297. And that's in Kelvin. And now, all we have to do is solve for N. And we do that by dividing these two guys by these two. Does everybody understand why? 
Okay. We're dividing both sides by the same thing, 0 0.0821. And the reason we're doing this is to get n by itself on one side of the equation. So everything cancels out, including the units of measure. Yes? Can we just multiply everything and then, and then You can do, if you understand how to do this kind of operation, you don't have to do it in the detail I'm doing. If you know what to do, what you're, what you're going to wind up doing is um, just dividing both sides by this, which is pretty simple, 0 0.0821. And we're going to have 297K. And now we've divided both sides by the same thing, and that's why it works. Okay? So, yes? Can we just multiply like, the, everything on the left and then everything on the right and then divide? Cross, multiply, and divide, that works just fine. You bet. But, we, but you see, in, in this one, in this one, in this one, we're spread out. We don't have anything on the bottom. So there's no cross multiply until we get started with this. This times this? Yeah, and then on the other side. Multiply this times this, yes, and then do the division? Of course. That would be no problem. I'm just showing you how we're getting from one to the other in, in one step instead of two, that's all. So we got 0.665 atmospheres, and this, is, this guy's on the top, so we're going to multiply just like we do with grids, and then we're going to divide because these guys are on the bottom, 0.0821. And then this guy's on the bottom, so we're going to divide again to, whoops, 297. And the number I come out with is going to be moles are equal to 0 0.0631 when I round. And that's the value of N in moles of C3H8. Now, the answer is not supposed to be in, in um, propane. The answer is supposed to be in carbon dioxide. And were they asking for moles? Are they asking moles? I think that was what they were asking. So if we're looking for moles, we start out with this guy, 0 0.0631 mole of C3H8 over 1 times the mole ratio here. Now, which one do I put on bottom, the propane or the carbon dioxide? Yeah, the propane to cancel it out. So propane is 1, so I got 1 mole of C3H8, and on the top I'll have 3 moles of CO2. All right, so I just multiply this number by 3, and hopefully we come out with the answer that we see below. What? What? Can I what? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. All right. I uh, I just did something wrong here, okay. and so I got to fix that. I'm multiplying by just three. That's three, and then I'm deleting the rest. It's answers times three. Right. This guy times three is equal to. Uh, is this the number that you get on your answer sheet? 189.189? Yeah, 0.189 would round to 0.19. Okay, and this is moles of CO2, and that's the answer that we wanted. Now let's go back and review what we did. It's okay.